Did you know according to UNESCO's forthcoming science report despite a shortage of skills in most technological fields driving the fourth industrial revolution women still account for only 28% of engineering graduates and 40% of graduates in computer science and informatics also female researchers tend to have shorter less well paid careers their work is underrepresented in high profile journals and they are often disregarded for promotion also women get smaller research grants than their male colleagues while they represent 33.3% of all researchers only 12% of members of national science academies are women women and girls represent half of the world's population and therefore also half of its potential gender equality a fundamental human right is essential to achieve peaceful societies with full human potential and sustainable development it is no secret that science and gender equality aren't on the best of terms even today women are still heavily underrepresented in fields of science and technology for centuries women have struggled to recognize their academic achievements and they rarely received them during their lifetime according to oecd international survey of scientific authors female researchers may have less opportunity to enter and advance in their fields the magnitude of this gender gap varies significantly across areas of research there is near parity in the social sciences and psychology where 45% of corresponding authors are women while women account for only 15% of related authors in physics and astronomy the study concluded that the main problem lies with retaining and promoting women into influential positions it is found that women had fewer chances to serve on committees or speak at scientific meetings other factors included are tensions with work life balance poor funding and pay and a lack of networking opportunities then what are the initiatives are taken to support gender equality in order to level the playing field there is a need for policies and frameworks that promote the representation and advancement of women in science careers these have been successfully designed and implemented in countries like the united kingdom australia and canada a framework supporting and transforming gender equality in the field of science technology engineering and mathematics or in short stem education and research can act as a guiding light equal representation alone will not guarantee to achieve gender equality a framework can set gender equality benchmarks by collecting qualitative data to determine if barriers exist and what actions could be introduced to tackle them these qualitative criteria can range from promoting inclusive practices in the workplace to increasing retention of women in stem careers to creating support structures for career progression for women scientists the uk has pioneered the athena swan gender equality charter and the accreditation system which started in 2005 many countries have joined the athena swan collaborative international network including the united states australia canada and ireland recognizing the framework's evidence based approach to research involvement and variable effects with the launch of gender advancement for transforming institutions or gati india has joined the list while learning from athena swan's success it is focused on the indian context and realities the department of science and technology has undertaken the program in partnership with the british council the project's main objective includes capacity building 
through training and supporting participating institutions in self-assessment through collaboration with Athena Swan awarded UK institutions in their gender equality journey. Gender equality frameworks such as GATI will bring a change in technical institutions. It will inspire senior leaders to take every possible action to attract, hire, maintain and promote more women in Indian's STEM fields. A gender equality framework for higher education institutions will translate into India and the world achieving a significant milestone. The Indian government has also recognized women's issues and their contribution to the country's economy. Let me inform you some of the women empowerment initiatives available to women in India. Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao This is a social campaign aimed at eradication of female feticide and raising awareness on welfare services intended for young Indian girls. To bridge the growing gap between the birth of girl and boy infants, the Government of India has taken up an initiative to promote Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao. The Women's Reservation Bill It proposes to amend the Constitution of India to give 33% reservation for women's seats in the Lok Sabha and all state legislative assemblies. This is an attempt to increase women's political participation. Step The support to training and employment program for women aims to provide skills that give employability to women and to provide competencies and skills that enable women to become self-employed or entrepreneurs. A particular project will be for a duration of up to 5 years depending upon the nature or kind of activities and the number of beneficiaries to be undertaken. Let us now meet a few boundary-breaking women who shaped the field of science through their hard work and determination and inspired millions of women to pursue their dreams fearlessly. Lillian Gilbreth Lillian Moller Gilbreth was an American psychologist and industrial engineer at the turn of the 20th century. She was an expert in organizational psychology. She was the first female commencement speaker at the University of California, the first female engineering professor at Purdue, and first woman elected to the National Academy of Engineering. Marie Curie Marie Curie was a Polish-born French physicist, famous for her work on radioactivity and twice a winner of the Nobel Prize. With Henry Becquerel and her husband Perry Curie, she was awarded the 1903 Nobel Prize for Physics. She was the sole winner of the 1911 Nobel Prize for Chemistry. She was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and she is the only woman to win the award in two different fields. Barbara McClintock Barbara McClintock was an American geneticist and is still considered to be one of the world's most prestigious cytogeneticists. In 1983, McClintock won the Nobel Prize in Physiology for her discovery of the jumping gene or the ability of the genes to change position on the chromosome. Rosalind Franklin Rosalind Franklin was a British chemist and crystallographer best known for her research that was essential to elucidating the structure of DNA. During her lifetime, Franklin was not credited for her key role, but years later she is recognized as providing a pivotal piece of the DNA story. Janaki Amal Amal was the first Indian scientist to have received Padma Shri award in 1977 who went on to occupy the reputed post of the Director General of the Botanical Survey of India. She pursued scientific research in cytogenetics and phytogeography. Amal's most renowned work is on sugarcane and brinjal. Kamala Sohoni Sohoni was the first Indian woman to have a PhD degree in the scientific discipline. 
She applied to the IISC for a research fellowship and met with rejection merely because she was a woman. She was the first female student of Professor C. V. Raman, who was the then IISC director. Due to her excellent performance, Raman gave her permission to pursue further research. She discovered that every cell of a plant tissue contained the enzyme cytochrome C which was involved in the oxidation of all plant cells. Karpana Chawla Karpana Chawla is the first astronaut of Indian origin to have forayed into space. She first flew on a space shuttle Columbia in 1997 as a mission specialist and primary robotic arm operator. Chawla was one of the crew members who died in the space shuttle Columbia disaster on 1st of February 2003. The tragedy occurred when the space shuttle disintegrated in while returning into the Earth's atmosphere. Viva Chaudhary Viva Chaudhary, a physicist from Kolkata who was the first Indian woman to conduct groundbreaking research on cosmic rays and particle physics, particularly extensive air showers, and was honored by the International Astronomical Union when they renamed the star HD 86081 at Viva. She was also the first female scientist at the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. Dr. Ritu Karidhal Also known as the Rocket Woman of India, Dr. Ritu Karidhal is an aerospace engineer at the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO. She played a vital role in the development of Mangalyaan, which is the Indian Mars Orbiter mission. Moreover, she is the mission director of Chandrayaan-2, the country's second exploration mission to the moon. To all those great-hearted women who are working hard every woman to live their dreams and make an identity in the field of science, Wish you all a happy International Day of Women and Girls in Science.